playing my last joint, I did. I think the music might have been a little bit loud. You know what I'm saying? But I think overall it was just the, the information was able to be heard. But I'ma kind of reiterate some of those points just for uh for those who have uh who may not be able to hear what was said. You know what I'm saying? I can hear what I was saying because I'm the one who said the shit. But basically, it was talking about uh, manhood and womanhood and how it's essential for us to stand up and hold this shit down, hold our community down, man. Especially as, as as grown ass people, we have the responsibility and the right and the power to lock down our community in a very prominent and proficient way, so that we can we can live whole lives, man. Like um, I, I touched on how uh, William Cooper wrote a book called Behold the Pale Horse, the European uh, cat who uh, was murdered for putting out such information. But it's a, um, a piece on his book. It's called a segment he did, which is called Quiet Weapons for Silent War. Quiet Weapons for Silent War, which you can access on the internet. Uh, well, it might have been Silent Weapons for Quiet War, either or, you know what I'm saying? Play with both, both ways. But uh, nonetheless, the information was dealing with how to subdue the enemy without fighting, which I told you before was the acme of skill, according to Sun Tzu. It's uh, subduing the enemy without fighting. So that's the whole criteria. One of the, um, the basic principles of um, attendance that were pre- pre- presented in the book was to divert the people's attention from real issues. And that's what you see in the community uh, on a regular basis. We are diverted and lost in a lot of the periphery, a lot of the entertainment that's occurring. But I'm, I'm, I'm projecting and I'm, 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 I'm pushing out here in the universe that we become more concerned with that which is real. Like, we currently live in a society where cats are literally starving. You feel me? It's, it's people on the morning planet who are really, are really starving physically. You see what I'm saying? They don't have enough food to eat. But at the same time, we got uh, another uh, another million people, millions of people who are obese from eating too much food. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, lack of clean water to, to, to consume. You feel me? These are things are current, fam. Like, how can we as grown men and women sit here and allow these things to occur without there being a, some type of serious fundamental problem in our, in our brains and our hearts, you feel me, like, I don't understand it, and um, what, I'm, what I'm projecting, what I'm doing, is not even deal with the problem, but let's deal with the solution, the solution is, let's remove the apathy from our, from our mind, and let's stop being so caught up in what society, what society is presenting to us, uh, um, I quoted it, um, by the chairman Fred Hampton, when he said, uh, very, very powerful quote about that I tried to live by. Um, I fall short daily, but that's, that's, that's one of my goals is to uphold that quote, you know, that's my daily life. He said that um, work is not important, school is not important. Nothing is more important than stopping fascism because fascism will stop us all. You feel me? So we have to understand that nothing is more important than living the life that the Most High gave us to live. And the Most High did not make us career women or career, career men. Our only career and our job is to uphold the glory of the Most High. And we do that by showing the glory and the power and stimulating the force within human beings and the planet that, 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 that sustains us. So I'm saying is, as men and women, our goal should be, in my understanding, man, is to uplift other human beings in, in a very profound way. Not the way society says do it, but in a very strong, potent way by which we are affecting people's lives so that the BS that they are, they're going through will no, no longer occur. I'm saying, like I said, like, currently as we're speaking right now, there are, there are children being molested by their uncles and by, you know what I'm saying, just, just dirty motherfuckers in the world. You feel me? Like, that's going on right now, and it does not have to go on. You feel me? That's, that's the most disheartening part and the most rewarding part about being here in this human experience is that the bullshit that goes on does not have to go on. If real men stand up, like I said, when real men stand up, little boys sit their ass down. When real women stand up, little ass girls sit down. So we have to become those real men and women that are pushing and promoting real life. Real life, man, because this shit is not fucking real life, man. This is, this is a protracted set of death. This is decorated death. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like um, my big homie talk about a lot of times that spoiled food. They take spoiled food and they, they season it up to a certain extent so we don't understand, we don't taste the fact that it's spoiled fucking meat or rotten meat or rotten vegetables or rotten whatever the food substance is because they season it up. So since we're seasoned with so much reality TV and uh, NBA playoffs and baseball and maybe other, all this other, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, peripheral type of shit, we don't understand that we're not partaking of real life. We're in 
suggesting death on a consistent basis, man. This is not nothing I'm saying metaphorical. This is shit is literal, man. We got ten year old, ten year old, ten year old little boys that don't understand how to how to deal with conflict and the people manage. They shoot motherfuckers on the bus. This shit occurs and grow, like I said, grown ass men are sitting around, man, watching the playoffs. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't concern them, man. You feel me? Like this has to be changed if we're gonna be called call ourselves human beings. If we're gonna call ourselves human beings, there's no men and women, but uh, 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 gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Niggas talking about they gods and life fans. God creates universes in his own image and his own life. Not your own personal shit, but I'm saying we have to go beyond the personal. Because, like I said, we, we, we are into this individualistic salvation. As long as I'm okay, man, that's, that's on this. That's their problem. Who, who came with that thought, man? How could you be a black man or a businessman talk about that's their problem? You know what I'm saying? There's no individualism in our understanding and our culture. I don't think there's a word for that shit as an end of fucking visual. Like, what is that, man? I, I am because we are. That's, that's the axiom and the, and the principle that we stand on. I am because we are. So what are we going to do with our people, with our children, with our, with our, with our earth? You know what I mean? Niggas don't even go their own food, man. Like, we, we're getting food from jewels and all these. That's, a, that's an abomination against God, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck we going to allow our, our enemies to feed us? You know what I'm saying? And the way they deal, deal with the soil and the earth is so fucking, you know what I'm saying, decadent and, and, and evil. How can we consume that and, you know what I'm saying, consume that? You know what I'm saying? And, and think that's okay and be, and be content with that. We have to really stand up and redefine what it is to be a human being, to be a man, to be a woman. This is, this is, this is, this is the whole point of, 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 of culture and education. If education is not redefining and changing our world in a very powerful and, and mighty way, and we're wasting our time. You know what I'm saying? We're being miseducated because we're not, we're missing the more, we're missing our, our true purpose. We're, we're not reaching our potential as human beings. That's the crux of what we gotta be about, man, as men and women. We have to stand up. And what I'm saying is, like I said in the last day, if you wasn't able to hear me, was that um, I don't wanna keep making YouTube clips, man. You feel me? Like, I'm not, this is not what I, I'm not, I'm not leaving the speaker. I'm only doing it because we need commercials to, to, to promote our empowerment. Advertise our, our growth and development. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Big Mac and McDonald's promotes Big Mac. I'm trying to promote this movement to our people, man. So we can begin to step up and get out here in the vineyard and put in more and more work. And I know some of us are doing that. And I applaud what you're doing. Don't get me wrong, but man, we cannot be complacent. Because right now we're losing, man. I know niggas, niggas watching secret and shit talking about you shouldn't think like that. Reality is real. We have to deal with where we at. Right now we're fucking losing, man. You feel me? Like this, this yo, shit is funky out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Crack is one of the most booming businesses in the black community for, for young black men. That's the number one option. Like I said, Walker Fock and Lil Wayne and, and, and Jeezy are more known than Marcus, than Marcus Garvey. Malcolm X, the style of Shakur. You feel me? Like these, these are, these are the, the leaders of our, of our children. So we sitting around as so-called grown men and grown women allowing this shit to occur. Jesus is not coming back to save you, man. I know that might hurt some of y'all hearts. I'm not trying to be sacrilegious or disrespectful to what y'all believe in. But no one's going to come save us but us, man. Jesus is already here. It's already here. It's within your own, own being, man. It was, Jesus is going to come out your way. It's going to come out about, 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 your, about your mind you are. So we are the ones who are here to, to, to establish a new heaven and a new earth. Us. We, us, the men and women, man, in this day and time, in this day and age, this is what we got to be about establishing and taking this shit very serious, very, very serious, man, it's a life and death struggle we in. I know, like I always say, because we have these amenities, you know what I'm saying, we think everything is cool. It's not. It's not cool. It's not acceptable, man. We can't accept this shit. It's unacceptable for us to sit back here and allow little girls to be molested. Allow, you know what I'm saying, young men to be um, warehoused into prison. You see what I mean? Like, it's, it's so much shit for now, motherfuckers in India and Africa, and even some places in the South and in the rural areas to not have fucking fresh water. But this shit is not, this shit is, come on, man. This shit, no. There's so much bigger than this within human beings. But right now, shit is so fucking ugly, man. And we have that, we have that power and that ability to make this shit, you know what I'm saying, what it's supposed to be. And that's what I'm presenting to the people, man. And I'm not saying this, like I said, just to, uh, for motherfuckers to like, put a smiley face or press like on my face. But I appreciate niggas putting that support in there. But it does encourage me. But really, I need people out here in the big yard to put work in. 
and the squad. If you're doing work, holler, let me know what work you're doing. If I can help you out in whatever way I can, I can put me on promoting your agenda or your program on this particular, you know what I'm saying, out here. And you can do the same thing for yourself. But we have to stop squadding up and putting in work. And we can't be complacent, like I said, with what we're doing. Because until we're free and independent, when I say free and independent, I mean like we, we're controlling every aspect of our lives. Like, this, 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 um, this is a gateway computer. We should be producing that shit. The Sony um, record plan I'm playing right now, we should be producing that shit. The food we eat, we should be producing that. The schools we have, we should be producing that. We should have our own military, our own navy, our own air force. Everything should be produced by us. And it should be produced, produced in a righteous manner and maintained by us in a righteous manner. Until we're at that particular level, fam, then it doesn't mean nothing. Until Dr. York and Mamiya Abu Jamal and Jamil Alameen and Seiko Odinga and then all other individuals are free from the fucking jail cell. We losing. We lost. We are losers. We have to accept that, man. We have to, we have to flip that energy, flip that current, and start putting in this work in a more uh, cohesive, and a more collective, and more powerful fashion. And um, holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be, it's gonna be summer. It can be a very great summer, man. It can be a very powerful, and very prominent, and very prosperous summer if we get together and put that work in. So holler at the boy, seven seven three three nine six. 327 and holler at me direct man or uh, hit me up on my inbox or whatever on the, on the Facebook piece or hit me on the email life is good 83 at yahoo.com and um uh, yo let, let it be known man I'm I'm, I'm, put, I'm, I'm I'm putting myself out here fam you know what I'm saying like you know uh cause if y'all been watching my shit then people are watching my shit not trying to think I'm, I'm from big time niggas cause I'm not but I'm telling you I, I, I yo you know what I'm saying I'm being seen by other forces you know what I'm saying so these let my people see this shit. Let's, let's act on this shit before. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, well, I don't know what I'm saying? I got guys to protect you behind me, but you don't never know what it is going on out here. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, know, just get with your boy, you know what I'm saying? And let's put this work in, man. And, um, get it done. Peace and love.